for years. We've told you about concerns from Norfolk residents about coal dust in Lambert's Point and Norfolk Southern's efforts to make the air cleaner. But some say the company is not responding to their requests to meet with them to discuss more solutions. Penny, your science, Kara Dixon, joins us now with more on those difficulties. Kara? Tom, Anita, people I spoke with say they've been waiting for months to just sit down with representatives from Norfolk Southern to discuss their health concerns about coal dust and their ideas to fix it. But nothing, even after state lawmakers recommended both groups meet. A picturesque Norfolk neighborhood isn't all it seems to be for some residents. I would like to sit down on the outside and enjoy the fresh air and the breeze without me, my eyes running. It's a health issue Jamie Morris has had since moving to Lambert's Point, and the same goes for Charles Corbett. It's having this dry cough that I've developed uh, since I've been here. You can't forget about Dennis Dukes, who says he's had a hiss in his throat too. The doctor that can't find anything, so they say it's in the air, it's coal dust. Coal dust coming off trains, going into the Norfolk Southern Coal Terminal, located right in their neighborhood. The other thing we want for Norfolk Southern is to be a good neighbor. We want Norfolk Southern also to kind of cover the coal. We reached out to Norfolk Southern. They say they met with community members in 2014. They've done air quality surveys and so has the state, showing that coal dust levels don't pose a significant health risk, but may impact the ability for residents to do healthy outdoor activities like walking. But these neighbors are still concerned about the long-term effects. We've been tasked with the burden of proving that the uh, the poor health in, in a lot of these communities is connected to the coal dust. COPD, bronchitis, asthma, just a few of the respiratory issues Lafita Byram says her organization, the New Virginia Majority, has found in residents they've spoken with since they started working together in Lambert's Point a few years ago. In some ways, I think a lot of folks feel like it's like David and Goliath. But the group was hopeful after Delegate Joe Lindsay introduced a House Joint Resolution earlier this year. The bill would have required Norfolk Southern to continue submitting annual reports about coal dust, conduct a cost-benefit analysis of covering the rail cars, and close the dust suppression system in Norfolk, and report the number of complaints made by residents. The resolution also required Norfolk Southern to hold annual citizen input meetings that excited residents the most, but the bill was never voted on in hopes that the two parties could figure things out on their own. We walked away thinking we were going to sit down and, and meet with Jim Squires and um, he would give this community an opportunity to meet face to face. Um, that's not happened in the past. And uh, about 90 days ago, we sent a letter and tried to substantiate that um, meeting um, to no avail. We also asked Norfolk Southern if they would meet with the residents and did not hear a response. They did point us to a website outlining what they've already done to combat the dust. But with their headquarters possibly leaving Norfolk, relocating for Atlanta, these residents are holding on to slim hope that their voices will be heard before that happens. We're going to stay on this because the train tracks are going to remain here. Train tracks that continue to remind them of the coal dust next door. I am still really hopeful because as long as you have people and you fight and you organize, history has shown us that you, anything can change. Now, we spoke with Delegate Joe Lindsay over the phone. He told us that after the House joint resolution was tabled, Norfolk Southern representatives said it would send him those air quality reports. That hasn't happened yet. Now, we also reached out to Norfolk City officials for information about coal dust complaints, and we received a petition with over 600 signatures to pass a coal dust resolution that was submitted to council members in 2017. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.